Hi, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the SC joint and stability to, stability to inferior glide. So you know when we do abduction, we want that SC joint to do more of an inferior glide. We can test it two ways. We've done the video before. One way is to be able to palpate the SC joint from the front. And you can tell your patient to elevate their shoulders towards their ears. And you want to see, see how this one goes down, this one doesn't go down. You want to see that normal would be this to go down. This one's a little bit stiff. Another way to test it as an active, but more of a passive test, I can come in, I can grab his elbow, right? I can go onto the joint, I could use this part of my hand, put it there, and I could come through here and I could elevate his shoulder, and I can then do an inferior glide to see what that spring feels like. So I can take out the slack, you can see the spring, and spring it. And I could always come on this side and do the same thing as to test this SC joint. So I can come into here with this part of my hand, Bring his elbow up, get in favorite glide, and then do my glide. Okay, so it's a nice way, it's a good way for evaluation, and you can also use it as a technique to mobilize it. Once you get in that position, you can do contract, relax. Again, there, come up till you start to feel it. You can gently have him push down with his elbow and relax. When he relaxes, I can push inferiorly with this hand. So it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.